It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, here in Dallas, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But this team this year may have even extra pressure on their shoulder, what might very well be the toughest division in football. And that extra pressure will go on the offensive side of the ball. They'll need consistent play from the quarterback position because they are very explosive. And on the defensive side, they want to continue to take the ball away and make themselves contenders in the NFC East. For the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Ready to get it started here, Riley Patterson. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time. And it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. A pro bowler for the first time in 2022. Here's Tony Pollard. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. They work now on second and nine. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. A great run by Pollard and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run and he had his first 1,000 yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. On first and 10, Prescott. Ball delivered complete on the crossing route Gallup. And down he goes at the 49, a three yard pickup. From just shy of midfield, here's second down at seven. Now Prescott. It's caught left side by Colts. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 the first. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 29, here's second and three. Prescott yet again. Swinging this out for Pollard. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 13-yard line. 
Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. From the red zone now, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the six now on second and three. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Prescott on third and two. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy. It's not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wright's got him, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Here's Gaw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them to show respect to him. Hey, you guys got such a good one. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the gun, here's Goff. And his throw is incomplete. And trying to find Jamison Williams, but it's going to be second down. gets there this time for the sack Micah Parsons it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him all about the offense so far this drive putting something sustained together but the defense they responded on that play second imaginable became third and long 
The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. But well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 38 now, here's a second down and four. Here's Prescott. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it's third and four. Prescott. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. First down, golf. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Josh Reynolds. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him. On first and ten, golf. He's got right on the short throw. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Now it's.
it's gone. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a that's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on so prescott to the cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 17-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Prescott now on second down. He's going to find Gallup here complete. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Prescott from the gun. He gets it to Cooks, and he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Prescott looks to throw on first. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down, Pollard again. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Prescott now. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 
Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. A nice chunk play from the tight end position and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up and they still combined for the completion and big gain. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now Prescott. This is caught, it's Cooks. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cowboys post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Now for the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. short throw and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there hey let's face it you can put any halloween costume on him you're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size difficult to sneak him anywhere but that's what they tried to do lined up on his right tried to work his way back to his left but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly golf that's to Armin ross and brown and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First catch here by St. Brown. Good for a first down. But well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Goff on first down. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Goff. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing again is gone. and it's incomplete. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Pollard will take it up the gun. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now Prescott. Now well, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and that'll make it third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed, because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes, if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. And meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. To throw on second down is gone. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Marquise Bell, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Following the interception, here's Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Get 
First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Prescott to throw it. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So out now come the Lions. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. From the 21, here's a second and seven. Goff now looks to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. Throwing on third. Goff. He finds his man complete. It's Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Montgomery on the counter. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Back to Montgomery on second down. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. The Lions on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. To throw is gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half. And on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good. 
And that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Play action. It's golf. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now a second and ten. Goff throwing again. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. They'll fake the give. Now golf. To the sideline and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Now back with the Lions. Here's Riley Patterson on for the field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience... How much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They'll run left with Pollard. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. First down, and it's Pollard again. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Score 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. 
Try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Prescott. Michael Gallup, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. He'll look to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Throwing, Prescott. Able to hit his target land. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And again, it's Prescott. sack they push him back to the 34 the Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next so now on fourth down Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit he's going to need a little mustard on this one it'll be a 51 yard attempt and his kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up crafting them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Lions offense set to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. A first and ten here. And, you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. That pass caught. It's Williams. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first down, gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts 
as he'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 25, here's second and six. Again, golf. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Off play action, here's Goff. And he overshot him there, it's out of bounds incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. Patterson's kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Brian Branch from the secondary in on the tackle. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, the Coach, Cowboys thanks. Retreated yeah, to both teams likely to make some changes four. in what's been a closely Dak fought Prescott. battle to this point. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. 
And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Micah Parsons, his second sack of the night. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now following the sack, often the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Micah Parsons, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Now a fair catch called for and taken here, and that'll set up his guys in great field position. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. First down, Prescott. Left side to land. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 35, here's second and two. Prescott off play action. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A gain there of 21 yards. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Prescott yet again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of 5 on the completion. And it'll be 4th down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up 4th down. And his kick it is right there. It's good. And that one makes this a 10-point game at 16-6. to six. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting through. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead.
The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made here at the 36. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. On first down, it's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know he stays what we call clean and no one gets to him. The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, that means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Taking it about the 16. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front, that's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. They'll try to throw now, Prescott. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost 
the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. What you'd rather do, put up signs and say, roads closed. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for Dallas. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Here's second and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A shotgun snap for Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now a first down throw, Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Brings throw into the hands of Reynolds here. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Goff now to throw. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Second down and a yard. Toss left to Montgomery. this down to the 10. 
72 yards on the ground so far for Montgomery. It's a first down. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Montgomery. And a short pick up there, down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Here's Goff now on second down. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions have got it back to within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. And out now come the Cowboys. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. The play fake, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A good pick up there, a 22. Play action now, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. On second down, it's Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. What do they have for this? Third and 11. On play action, Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss.
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The ball was tipped and fell incomplete, but it was tipped up in the air, so the guys on defense, they had to feel like that was a big opportunity, and it was missed. They needed a play to help turn things around a little bit. Ball's in the air. Can they rally to it and get it? On that play, they weren't able to. They'll take the ball batted away, but boy, they missed a big chance there. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. Prescott on first down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Tried to go draw play out of the gun down here. Yeah, they tried to spread things out, didn't they? They wanted to move people away from the center of the field, away from the line of scrimmage near the ball, so that the runner could find some space unsuccessfully, though. Prescott over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. And his kick here is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Well, now how about this return? And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. And Detroit back in possession of the football. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. this they'll try the option left side give him three on the keeper there and it is second down some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations just call a simple run get a few yards and begin the series and set yourself up for something bigger on second down second and seven
Prescott. Cooks on a quick slam. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Well, they'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Second and ten. A give to Pollard, running left. About three yards there to the 27. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here's Pollard again. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. That's dumped off to Poe. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Second down, but this time it's incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now Prescott. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Pollard one more time. And he's brought down right at the five yard line. Give him two on the play. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Cowboys will add to their fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Lions now. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. From the gun, here's Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And third and one now. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third down and one. Throwing again is gone. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw. Gone. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's gone. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw is gone. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And to find the open man. That's complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. So the drive will continue. After the conversion on fourth, they'll work from the 20 on first down. Going up the gut, Montgomery. J. Ron Curse in on the tackle. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. And that play, how about a tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So still over three minutes remaining in this game. But boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing. So they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Second down, Pollard again. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Trying to run forward with Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Going to run again here with Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. Let's go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he will have the Cowboys first down, and that should be that. And the Lions quickly now are going to use the last of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. Second and 11 now. Pollard gonna try the right side. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. 
I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And yeah, there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.